Hello adventurers, and welcome to another episode of Grim Plays Warhammer Quest. So, we just opened up a new area to us in our last uh, quest of in the Ubersrike area, and opened up a level 3 quest after getting the Axe of Grungni. So, let's see what quests we have available to us. We have the Amulet of Holy Fire. It's a witch hunter item, 11 to 14 damage, power increases with level, one use. I'm gonna just check and see. It has an amulet of healing. It's an interesting item, might be worth getting. Kill Emmett Reitberg. Or rescue the herbalist. Or we have this level three quest. Well, I say let's go to the warpstone mines and complete the level three quest. Let's get that done. The warpstone, the warpstone mines. Although the Burgermeister of Ubersheik was mocking the warriors when he told them of the abandoned mine, with, a, with no stronger leads, the warriors reasoned that all legends start with a grain of truth, especially in the old world. And so, they gain directions from an old soak for a copper jot, and soon find their way to the mine. This place is an old dwarf works, but where the dwarven ruins of welcome have been inscribed over the mine entrance, there is now a dwarf skull hung beside it, crudely etched. Beside a crudely etched triangle, the mines are no longer abandoned. Okay, let's head into the darkness. All right, two directions to go. Let's go up. Five giant rats and five giant bats. Hmm. All right. Let's do this. It's because these are lower level. They're easier. turn there. He'll attack the wizard. It's alright. Uh, medium bandages? That's actually a nice drop for that fight. Alright. Let's head into the next room. Four giant spiders, three giant bats, and four giant rats.
back up. There's really not anything else he can do right now because he can't. He has no line of sight to attack with any spells. Um, that's it for everybody. So we'll end our turn there. Go figure. Your strength. We'll add that to the stash. We'll actually go ahead and add that to Karg the Mighty. Cast Cure Small Wounds. A dead end. So let's start moving back. There's really no point in going any further that way. And your turn there. One clan rat and five giant rats. Okay. of healing. Let's give that to we'll give that to the dwarf. Okay. And we'll end our turn there. There's not really anything else. No one else can move. Yeah, we'll end our turn there. Okay. Move to the next room. Two claw leaders, five clan rats, and two globideers. Over there. Excellent. Yeah, let's try the claw leader. Hmm. Okay. Back up some mind razors. Nope. Okay. 
Okay, we'll do Shadow Bolt. Shadow Bolt again. Now it's worth doing, so we'll end our turn there. <laughs> oh, more clan rats. Okay. Clan leaders, four clan rats, and two globideers. Go ahead and use our magic to heal up. Karg, and that's it. We'll end our turn there. Four storm vermin, one bombardier, and four gutter runners.
turn there. Have them come to us. turn there. Move the dwarf to the next area. Three storm vermin, three clan rats, and one claw leader. attacks on us. First, Vambrace's armor. Probably just sell those. Not really looking like they'd be worth something. Cast some heals here. Okay, that's it. We'll end our turn there. Encounter. Alright, get. Grunton is confronted by a slumped cow figure crawling towards them, calling for help in a piteous voice. Leave it alone. It's an infected body. Of course. Upon reaching the stranger, the warrior realizes that offering aid was not a good idea. The figure slumps in his arms, dead, his cow falling to one side and revealing his plague-ridden face. Boils and pustules cover the stranger's cheeks and his eyes weep a thick yellow liquid. Your warrior's quick reflexes mean he is able to jump back immediately avoiding any infection from the fallen fighter. The warriors leave the festering body alone, so at least he avoided it. Alright, let's move on to the next room. One claw leader and four clan rats. Where's the claw leader? Of course he's at the back. There is an ominous creak 
and then one of the Skaven corpses follows, falls through the rotten plank floor. The last confrontation is simply too much for the ramshackle floor to bear. The chamber is collapsing, sending all in incumbents into the abyss below. Oh, wow. Lasts for two dungeons. Minus two movement, minus two weapon skill, minus two ballista skill, minus two strength. Wow. Same for Auric. Okay, so my two main tanks got injured. And it lasts for two dungeons. That's not good. Okay, let's go back to Overstrike. Okay, we don't have enough to upgrade anyone. Should adventure warriors? Hmm. I don't know if that actually does anything. Alright, we'll go to the market. Sell the cursed van braces. We don't need that. And I think we already have a blessed silver stake for the. Yep. But we can always give him another one. Give him a potion of swiftness and a. No, I'll leave the healing. Okay. I don't think there's anything we need to replace in our warrior's inventory. No, we're good. Go back. And, well. That's everything for this adventure, so once again I want to thank you for coming along. And uh, you know, if you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy creating them, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It does help out the channel and I do appreciate it. But until next time, happy adventuring!